I want to take you into a new story here where we are seeing all the communities coming together to honor the life of Gabby Petito. I'm going to bring in uh, Jennifer McNamara. She is a 9-11 widow and president of the Johnny Mac Foundation, but most importantly here uh, has been bringing the community together to uh, help out as far as this Petito case. Gabby Petito, only 22 years old, now confirmed dead. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So you're out in New York right now. If you could, for just a moment, um, explain what it's been like recently as people have heard uh, new developments in this case. I think it's been very difficult for people. Um, this is a very small, tight-knit community. <clears throat> we love each other uh, and support each other very much, and we love this family very much, and it's been I think it's a very grueling week for all of us. And so just give us an idea of what you've been doing around town to, to help honor her, uh, as you can see these flyers and just photos of her uh, beautiful face out there, and people feel like they're connected to Gabby Petito. So my foundation has been uh, putting up a uh, buying and putting up the teal ribbons. Uh, those are the blue ribbons that we see around town. Uh, that's what we've done in order to uh, make sure that everyone remembers Gabby and her beautiful eyes and never forgets who she is. I mean, Jennifer, uh, this is a larger story than just Gabby Petito right now. Every feel, everyone feels like uh, they're connected to this family at this point in time. I understand that you are a family friend of them. Uh, if you could just give us a little insight into Gabby Petito, because we've just seen her through the lens of a camera screen right here of, of photos captured of her. She was a uh, free spirit, uh, very artistic, very creative, very adventurous. Um, my son describes her as the best babysitter she had in rules, and she was a lot of fun. Uh, she was a great person to be around. Um, that's probably the best you can know about good soul. Yeah, I mean, taking a look at all of those pictures, you can capture that. You can see that even with never having met her before. Um, but having met her, you know, how substantial is this story? Uh, did you guys ever think anything like this would happen to her? No, of course not. She's she's a great kid. Um, mm -hmm. There would be no reason to believe that something like this uh, would happen to any of our children. Um, you know, like I said, this is a, a very small, peaceful uh, community. Yeah. And you yourself has been through a lot, uh, and that's where your foundation comes in here. Uh, what have you been trying to do to try to console everyone during this time? Um, again, you know, we uh, obviously I do anything that the family asked me mm -hmm. to do. Um, but beyond that, uh, we came up with the idea of the, the blue ribbons around town as a show of solidarity um, to make sure that wherever the family goes in town, they, they know that we are behind them, that everyone is behind them in this town, uh, obviously, uh, and, and elsewhere as well. Um, and that was the point of it. We, we want them to know how much we care about them and how much we will always be here for them and to protect them and to love them. All right, we appreciate you so much for uh, coming on the show. Jennifer McNamara, uh, a family friend of the Petito family, also doing your best uh, to try to bring the community together during this tragic time. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come on the show and share some thoughts uh, and remember her life.